Alright, well we are headed out to Shed Hunt. And me and Jacob today. Yep. We've been Easter bunnying. Took the little kids to go get some Easter eggs on their Easter hunt. And now the big boys are gonna go Easter hunt. Yep, for sheds. Yeah, for sheds. Some yep. brown Easter sheds. So we're gonna meet up today with McCaden Cox from Sawn Outdoors. And I believe he said it was Anthony from King's Camel that's coming with him. So we're gonna go hook up with them and go do some shed hunting. Well, we are sitting here waiting for the other guys to show up and Jacob spots some elk up on the ridge. So broke out the spot and scope. We're gonna go check them out and see what they are. And we got a bunch of elk up in there. I think we've counted up to about 20 of them now. But they're either cows and calves or shed bulls, but nothing that we can see has horns, so. Gotta have my ready for this hike. It's gonna be awesome. We are off and going. Never met up with those other guys. Don't know where they were, but we gotta start walking, so. Straight up, you can hear me breathing real hard. Straight out of the car, but straight vertical and beastly. And now we gotta go up the canyon. Holy crap, we've been covering some ground. So freaking windy. But, <laughs> Oh, well, the best part is, I, I first seen this one walking down here, and then I glanced to my right, and look what we got right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. We hiked a long ways out here. Holy man. I actually watched these bulls for a while. on these points so this one it's laid here for a while a year hard light it's windy I don't even know if you can hear me far from one another. How observant I am. I just turned around and there's a third horn. So <laughs> got one right here, one right here, and one just right around right there. Holy cow. So I'm just gonna grab this one. Oh definitely last year's take a selfie stick. Here. I got this set. That one. It's bigger. That one's set. That one's bigger. This is why, guys, you gotta be doing some kind of exercise every day. We just cut a nice, fresh elk track that went down through the bottom right there. 
and I don't know if you can see it or not, but that thing went dang straight vertical right there all the way up straight vertical so if you're not uh, getting your exercise in every day some kind you're falling behind because these suckers climb like mountain goats that is our uh, shameless plug right there for ready nutrients we'll get your ready nutrients so you can climb that stinking hill straight up like the elk do liveready.com use promo code nimrod get your discount well, jacob just spotted this thing right here is it a broken tine or is it a bone it's a bone dang it thought we had a broken tine right there yeah onward and upward bottom clear to the very back and we're gonna work our way out but we are way back in here now and uh, we're gonna take a break in glass for a while we got a spot right here that is just spectacular for glassing we're running a good sign down in here lots of tracks and drop-ins and things like that so hopefully we had a good spot and we can start picking up some sheds back in here see anything yet no nope. nothing yet Crap, it's so windy, but I just stashed those horns right here. Started to walk down this, and look what is glowing right there. That's the other side to the one. They're all pretty close to one another. Crap! So excited. Ethan actually just picked up a great big old brown up around the plant. What if it's one of these bulls this year? Ah, oh, it's fun when you can actually have some luck. Cap, drop clear down there. I didn't actually video. I picked up a horn clear down on the ledges. I seen this white one, walked over to it. Looked up here, and look what I got right here. Oh, man. I almost missed it. You were just down. You were just below, yeah. And it might be the other side to yours. Oh, I'm excited. My first brown elk. Pretty good one. Bad news is it might be the other side to Ethan, so we'll have to see. <laughs> if it is, I'll have to give it to him. Don't worry, I'll give you something for it. <laughs> I'll even pay you for it. Oh, heavy though. Oh, there's more in here. You gotta find them. Oh, awesome. Well, getting into a lot more sign. Hopefully, we'll start finding some horns around in here. What do you think? We need to find horns. We need to find horns bad. All right, let's go. Yeah, we have been walking a long ways and we have climbed a ton of elevation. Jacob's right back there above me. We're just making our way around this great big bowl, but there's so much sign in here. So much sign, but not a horn yet. We've been hiking a ways. Jake just whistled at me and pointed over here across the draw down in there a ways. And there's a nice herd of elk right down in there. Looks like I can see a couple little spikes. Let's see if I can put you on the put you on the phone scope and uh, see if we can uh, see him here. Jake's coming down right there behind us. You see anything in it, Jake? There's one spike. 
Yeah, I saw the one spike. That's about all I could see. Let's see if we can put you on the phone scope and get some footage of them. So this is being videoed through my phone scope with my binoculars. Jake's gonna grab the spotting scope out here and take a better look, see if we have any drop bowls. Yeah. Yeah, like 10 years too late on that one. Look at the fronts. Let's see that first right there. That thing is. That's so cool. Getting loaded down. We're gonna hike up this hill. Hopefully, get a few more. Oh yeah, it's debatable. The back end's a little different, so I don't know. It might be a different bull. Oh, yeah, I don't definitely don't think it's the other ones. Heck yeah, dude. Now let's go down to the other one. Yeah, that's the best part. Look right. There. Two left. <laughs> Slide down, dude. <laughs> Finally getting into some brown. You can smell. Mm -hmm. They spent some time in here. Crap. <laughs> my pack's up there. <laughs> Your pack's top. My pack's like 200 yards up the hill. I wasn't bringing it down. <laughs> Find some more. Sweet. So in a lot of people's videos you see these days, like you get points and tips and stuff. Well, I'll give you a tip today. Leave your pack at the top of the hill because if you do that, this is what happens. <laughs> hey, <I'd> be... <laughs> you spent? Yeah. It's like, should I be a good big brother and come back down and help you, or should I wait till you get up to me and then come help you? Where's your pack? Oh, at the top of the hill. <laughs> like half a mile. No, it's good. Oh, hell, I don't know if you can see it. They're right down there in the trail. There's a skunk. sprayed by a skunk and how far can they spray when they spray because right now this is about as close as I'm getting and I'm about 20 yards that's close enough put that question put your answer in the comments below have you been sprayed by a skunk and how did you get that nasty smell out I'm, I'm right downwind and I sure hope he doesn't spray because I'll get it It's the wrong bone. There's 
That's on the leg right there too. Dang it all. Oh, I thought we had our first one there. Well, we're taking a set and having some munchies for a minute. Oh, it's fine. Mmm, cashews. Anyways, how many miles do you think we put on? Man, we put on a lot of miles today, and they've been some rough miles. Some of them have been whoop, straight up. And we've got stunk. Skunked. That's what a skunk does, is stunk. And that's what our day has been so far. So, mm -mm. we better find some on the way out of here, or I'm not going to be a happy camper tonight. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but the man is howling. Sitting up there taking a break with a little glass and hitting the back knee. All of a sudden it just turned. Alrighty, made it back up to these horns. This is the haul to saw off this little ridge. Check out that front. Cool little front on him. Pretty sure that's a set, kind of different thirds, but buttons, everything match up. Pretty good set there. Big heavy, he's starting to turn chalky, so I don't know if he's going back with this. He might be a tree hanger. Big brown. One. Hey there, that was my good luck. That started the whole thing. And now we got Ethan right here, his little five point set, six point set. These ones are all pretty much together. The two lefts were together, and the two rights were really close to each other. And then the horn that we're dreading, I'm dreading, he's excited. He hopes it's a match. So, moment of truth, I don't know. DNA test. Yeah, those buttons look really, really similar. Don't worry, I'll trade you some horns. I think we matched I'll them even, all up. I'll even trade you the big set for it. So we were just talking about not putting pressure on them, letting them be until they move out. And we got a set, we got a set, and we got a set. So I think we did pretty good. I would accept that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he found the first side, so we've always said, especially if they're big. So, we'll I'll, see. I'll give you this set. Right. That's actually a freaking good set. Like, it's heavy. Okay, and then we got a long ways in. I think we're close to five miles back in here, and it's, it's a bugger to get in here, so it's going to be a load. Well, we didn't go completely skunk today. Look at that old, old jocker. Nice. Well, that one's staying here. I ain't packing him out. But we did not get skunked. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. I can see his horns moving around in there. Yeah, he's a good bull. There he comes.
Alrighty, I think we got it situated. I'm taking all the rights. Ethan's got all the left. Left. And that's gonna be a tree hanger. We're leaving it. That's probably the heaviest horn too, but it's chalky, so we'll hang it in the tree. We'll hang it right here. This was a, the place where it all started for me going down. So. There. Jacob and I's day was like. We were bad. 